This gentleman is Mr. Sun Myung Moon, who is traveling around the world calling for the establishment of one world religion and one church. Seated next to him is his interpreter, David Kim. Mr. Moon speaks only Korean. Now, Mr. Kim, will you explain to Mr. Moon that if I take a merry, lighthearted approach to him, it's not out of disrespect, it's because uh, in civilian life I'm a part-time humorist. Go, all right. Now, Mr. Mr. Moon, according to your remarkable biography, uh, at the age of 16, on Easter Sunday, you had a conversation with Jesus. Uh, yes, he did through the revelation uh, in vision. Well, now, uh, you weren't with him, Mr. Kim, at the time. Uh, no, I, I was not there. Well, then did, did Jesus him. speak a good Korean? Uh, did it have a Hebrew accent? Uh, in Korean, they conversed each other. Uh, that means uh, spirit world, uh, when you spiritually contact or in spirit world, we converse, we carry the conversation with mind to mind, heart to heart. Yes. All right, now, at, at present, Mr. Mr. Moon is regarded as a messiah by many devout and, and very attractive followers. There are some in the audience tonight. Uh -huh. And, and he, he's regarded as a messiah. Now, there are, by my researches, 27 working messiahs roaming the world right now, and that doesn't include John Yoko and Lemon. Or John Lennon and Yoko. <laughs> oh, I get my messiahs all mixed up. Now, what I would like to know is, are the other 26 messiahs fakes, and is Mr. Moon the only true one? Uh, he never said he claimed himself he is the Messiah. Maybe you probably received spiritually through the psychopath. I like, like humorous messiahs no. myself. <laughs> the one more thing, you cut me off. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. To act, yeah. to perform, the John the Baptist mission. Yes. You must have received or through uh, this kind of uh, 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 message. I see. But, but now here, and this is what, why I asked that question. This is, and can the camera catch it, an advertisement for uh, Mr. Moon's uh, appearance at Lincoln Center. It says, God speaks today, and there's a picture of Mr. Moon. Now, am I to understand, uh, Mr. Kim, that Mr. Moon is, is it really going to be a personal appearance by number one himself? Uh, this means God has no body, he wants to talk directly to the person on Swan earth. Mr. Moon. I know just, I haven't finished yet. And uh, uh, so he wants to pick up somebody, representative, or his uh, uh, representative on earth. So he wants to be the, his spokesman for this day. That's why this title, God Speaks Today, not necessarily He Speaks Today, but uh, so God Speaks Today through, through Mr. Mr. Moon. Yeah. That's what I said about three minutes ago. Uh, uh, but it, it's all right. It, you're fascinating. Now, now. Uh, Am I then to understand that, that, for instance, let me suggest to you that in the city of New York, there are hundreds and hundreds of, of clergymen of all faiths who are also speaking what their followers believe to be the word of God at uh, vastly lower rates. It's 18 bucks to hear <laughs> the word of God through Mr. Moon, and I'm sure it's worth every nickel of it. But you can hear the word of God spoken for free by priests, ministers, and rabbis all throughout New York. Are they, too, not speaking the word of God?
Kriju tam ne. Žija kalari čap. Don't mess around with the Messiah. Now, in order to bring the real value and the message he is speaking, he put this price because, according to his observation, throughout the world, including this nation, uh, uh, religious authority is sinking down and even uh, believers of so-called uh, Christianity also even ministers level are losing their authority. In this situation, to bring the valuable message from God directly speaking to the mankind or this nation through him, he thought it is a good idea uh, to uh, uh, this kind of, uh, uh, give the idea of a valuable uh, message and uh, uh, People giving them, pay for. yeah, even yes. though giving the free a uh, charge, better let them have, uh, if he were freely given, uh, it would devaluate uh, the value of yes. the, his message. The yes, I, I, that's a good, a Cadillac price on it. People respect it. We'll be back. We'll be, we'll be right back after this. Mr. Moon, we, 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 all of us uh, uh, have read and heard many accounts of the appearance of Jesus. You are the only man I have ever met who actually met him. Would you describe him to us? Was, is, was Jesus a, a, a black man? Was he a brown man? Was he a white? He appears just like a form of uh, a Jewish people style. Yes. He looked like, Jewish. He looked kind of Jewish, did he? Yeah, he looked oh, white. Look like white. Yes. Uh, I see. Now, now, uh, uh, was he, how old was he when, when, when Mr. Moon met him? Uh, understands every word I say. <laughs> Brings him along only because he wanted to make a trip. At 44 years old. He was some 44 years old. Was, 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 yeah. 33 years of age. He was 33 years of age. He, he, did he look like the pictures of him? Did he wear a beard? Yes, he had a beard. He wore a beard. And what sort of clothing? Uh, yeah, a long robe of Jewish, um, uh, yes. Judy, Jewish people. Yeah. I see. Now, did you ask when, when, you know, if a guy comes up to me and says, well, I am Napoleon or I am uh, 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 Bobby Sherman or any other uh, 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 incredible creature, I ask him for some credentials. Did Mr. Moon know that this was Jesus? Did he ask for any credentials? What convinced him? Uh, 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 four years of age, up to three years of age, so there is no need to credential for him. He, with, through his spiritual vision, he will be identified right there. He's uh, the one. Mr. Moon was born with the ability to recognize Jesus when he appeared. Uh, yeah, there was no question at all. Now, when Mr. Moon preaches, it says God speaks today. Does Mr. Moon feel a voice using, or a power using his voice to bring a message to, to his father? Uh, he receives message or revelation from God what contents would be, and he converse with him. All right, now, does God speak always through Mr. Moon? Is God speaking through Mr. Moon now, or does he speak only on scheduled appearances? 
아, 그러면 저 그때 그때 할적마다 하나님이 나타나셔서 말씀을 어, 주십니까? 그렇지 않으면 어, 한꺼번에 주십니까? 그러면 그때 그때 나타나 필요할 때마다 어, 말씀. 그것은 때, 기도할 때 기도할 때 한꺼번에 가르쳐 주는 것은 쭉 점진적으로 어? 에, 섭리가 발전해 나온 그와 같이 우리 에, 우리 자체들이 발전한 데 따라가 쭉 가르쳐 준다. 아, uh, he has been uh, uh, contacting him progressively. Uh, gradually, some of the message, certain time, just like uh, uh, gradually growing, you know, stage everywhere we have through his prayer. So constantly, uh, gradually, he is receiving revelation from God. All right. Now, uh, but again, does uh, God, of course, knows all. God knows when the advertisement, this advertisement uh, appears. God speaks today. And at that moment, as Mr. Moon is introduced, God begins to speak to him. I mean, no, no, no don't take any chances on that. It but that's why he said... Uh, Advertise this yeah. and not have it. Yeah, through his prayer, before Henry, he knows. That's why already uh, he yes. talked to you. Well, I, I myself, you know, you know I take a rather lighthearted approach to Mr. Moon. But if you were, I don't know if it comes over your television camera, but out of him shines the most enormous good nature the most enormous goodwill, the most enormous affection. And, and I must tell you that uh, during a break in the filming here, he sang the most charming song. I tell you, if this is the Messiah, I want, I want him something like this. <laughs> Well, I'm delighted. I'm delighted. But we still have a few minutes to go. We've got a charm, charm, I first time since he came to the United States. First time, so nice gentleman, nice uh, person like him. Oh, why aren't you sweet? <laughs> Blessings, dear friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a at the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print for the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. First being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book, and the final and latest one, Parpezzo, Parpezzo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, the Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Parpezzo, all available in the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.